these two teams know each other. Lou Getzey comes from the Green Bay system. He comes from Matt LaFleur's system. And Matt LaFleur knows the Chicago system. So it's two teams that know each other's offense. So I'm concerned about Chicago being in third and long situations and making Justin Fields either scramble or do a deep bomb. That gets risky where now you throw interceptions. You may throw a a key third down interception because you're forcing the ball to DJ Moore. You're forcing the ball to Chase Claypool. The, The team is better on offense, but you can't ask for third and long miracles from any team. It needs to be consistent. What was this defense really weak on last year? Stopping the run. Yeah, um, I'm know, so I'm so worried. Yeah, you're talking about how the Packers have two good running backs, and you know how you expect them to run, run all over us all game. Well, that's that's logical uh, fear to have because last year we sat there. This defense showed that they could not stop anybody in the running game, and um, as we kind of broke down in one of our last videos when we went through positions, you know, we talked about how the Packers probably have the you know the best running game in the division right now. As far as our offense being bailed out by Justin Fields on third downs, yeah, when uh, when putting together video, I saw a lot of that. You could just tell Fields would have to put everything on his shoulders, try and scramble around and pick up the first down. Like you said, to, to his credit, he did, but that's not very sustainable. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be sustainable last year, and miraculously, he sat there and just did it game after game after game after game. But do you know who our top rushers were last year? Pop rushers, um, I would assume it's Khalil Herbert and Justin Fields. So Justin Fields, David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert. Do you know who's fourth? Velas Jones. Only with like a hundred yards. Um, but what I'm getting at is, you know, Montgomery's gone. So that there goes your second leading rusher. Um, we're trying to create a situation where Justin Fields is not our leading rusher, right? And so you got a lot riding on, on Khalil Herbert's shoulders. And, you know, although he got a couple starts last year and he made the best of it, I think he's really good with fresh legs. So I think that benefits us because it's week one. Um, You know, he got hurt even in a backup role last year, though. So over the course of the season, I'm a little bit concerned. But I think you do need these guys to sit there and pick up the short, tough yardage to put you in better situations. So like you said, so you don't wind up in those third and long situations. And if you don't wind up in those third and long situations, you can open this offense up a little bit more and get a little bit creative and maybe spread the ball around. And hopefully we can kind of see that. We can kind of start to get a feel that, hey, this is going to be what the offense looks like moving forward. I would hate for this game to look like week one against the San Francisco 49ers last year. I mean, that would, that would kill me break my heart with the bears we already know that they have a solid legitimate running game and so what we want to avoid is those third and long situations which we saw way too much of last year my biggest concern i just don't want to see uh, a shift back into the beginning of the season's offensive scheme which is too much of run on first down run on second down ask for a miracle on third there needs to be some sort of consistency where Justin Fields gets to either, you know, do a design quarterback play, a nice little dump off, uh, a bootleg, uh, you know, cut the field in half. That was what was working in the second half. And you really saw this shift in New England because up to Washington, you saw this forced passing game. And my concern is that Luke Getze with another year is going to go back to what he knows, which is thinking he can make Justin Fields Aaron Rodgers. And I don't think that's the case. I think the advantage goes to the Bears only because you have DJ Moore. Cole Komet really s- stepped up in the second half of the season. Claypool, Mooney. Mooney had highlight plays left and right. I think the advantage goes to the Bears initially on paper. Fields has better talent. Uh, he has better receivers. He has better tight ends. So I'm hoping that the passing game goes in advantage to Chicago. But the biggest issue there is going to be what plays are called and how it's set up for them to succeed.